Hey, Brian from Gradual Hall. Today I have the Detective Quadrocopter Series. Uh, so we're going to open this up, take a look, and see what we got inside. Let me get my handy dandy Leatherman out so I can open this uh, a little bit easier. Sometimes these little cardboard flaps are not the most user friendly, but it's okay. your box this is what we get on the inside so it looks like we have a couple spare propellers some propeller um, kind of I guess like blockers to put on it so if you're flying around on it you know big open indoor space and this is the the drone so it has some like its own little foot stands in there and it's got a camera that looks like you can kind of manually position it. So depending on what you're looking for. So it has your remote. And then it has your batteries. Comes with two batteries, which is like really good. So pop those out. Let's take this little plastic piece and put it off to the side. So let's get these batteries charging so we can, at least uh, after we're done doing the unbox, so we can bring it outside and give it a test flight. Alright, so it doesn't come with a charging block. However, it's a standard USB, so you can plug it into like any laptop or desktop, or if you have like a cell phone charger that you're not using at the time, you can plug your battery in. So it looks like it's lighting up red. So my delusion is it will either get green or it'll completely go out once it's fully charged. So we'll put that battery off onto the side. So it has this little note. In order to get a better flying experience, please read the user manual carefully before operating. While matching frequency, the drone should be placed horizontally. So, okay. So basically, I guess they don't want you to have this on an angled flight. They want you to have it basically kind of sitting on a nice level surface. As such so that is your little uh, your cell phone holder because that's going to act as your camera mount it's got a screw in the back here so that kind of goes up and down so you can size it to your phone and that piece goes out as well so pretty neat uh, that is your battery compartment now let's get the I thought I saw a screwdriver around here somewhere yep comes with a screwdriver So what we can do is we can open the back of this, and this is your battery concealed part compartment. And so a couple more turns of screw, and that will open that. Okay, so it takes three triple A's. I think I got some over here. So I can get them safely out of their wrapper. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So put one in there, one in there, and then one down here. Then we are going to put that back in place, and we're going to turn the screw to lock that down. Okay, good. All right, let's get the instruction manual out see what we got going on here. Okay, it looks like there's two cards in here. Okay, so it's got a uh, QR code that you can scan. It's a mobile client. So let's just go through that real quick. Oh, it goes to you a bunch of different, uh, different languages. Uh, operating mode just a recognition, just your photo, just your video. So I guess it does a, a couple different things for gesture control, so that's pretty cool. Interesting, okay, that's neat. So it's got a lot of features, but definitely make sure you read through everything. Uh, it's gonna go through a security warning, how to install the battery, which after we give this a little bit of juice, we'll put in, we'll show you how that works. Um, so then you have your, your blade protectors, 
And if you're new to flying a drone, this is definitely something that I would advise doing. You can basically kind of like just slip that in there and then put one in each corner. Um, I particularly don't fly with those, but they are there. Especially if you're a beginner, definitely advise putting those in. Uh, goes into takeoff and landing. So basically on the remote itself, you got a couple of things that are marked. And you'll see these little icons in here. So this is going to be basically up and down. Um, takeoff, landing. This will, when we push this, it will take a, a photo. We'll start that part of it. Then you have your, uh, I guess, your other button. So we'll go into what all that does. It's got an instant stop, and then this is your di directional and control controls on that. Uh, one key takeoff, one key landing, which is cool, and that was basically these two buttons right there. Um, aircraft calibration. So basically, you are going to be... Um, moving both joysticks down here when we turn this on. We'll go through this more when we get outside and go through the, the whole flight takeoff. And then a uh, camera, optional. So you can put an SD card and it looks like the SD card slot is... Okay, so on the bottom of the... on the bottom of the drone, if you open this, basically slide this forward and that slides the whole camera forward and then out you have an SD card reader that's right in here, right up here in the front. So if you're looking for it. So it's kind of a kind of interesting spot to put one. But so that is that. And let's go through some other things. So it's got a compass mode, one key return mode. So it got has a bunch of different things. So Let's go from the beginning. Let's go through a little bit. So, uh, step one, package. Step two, identifying all the, the controls. Oh, it looks like it does do a 3D flip, so that's pretty cool. Uh, battery insulation and charging. So we got the battery charging. We've got the battery in the remote. Install blade protective cover. So it looks like those are all in place. Make sure that the blades are definitely on and the right side. So aircraft calibration, after matching the code between the aircraft and the remote control, put the aircraft on a horizontal plane and press the left and right joystick on the remote until the navigation lights flash. So that's basically going to be when we're, we're doing this outside. Um, aircraft adopts a barometer module to achieve fixed height and hovering. So that's cool. So when you let go of the joysticks, it should hover in place, which will be pretty neat. And then uh, just like some standard controls. All right, so let's do the QR code and see what that is going to bring up for us app-wise. So basically just take this, aim your phone at it, and then it's going to go visit Play Store. Or if you have an Apple phone, I'll go to the iOS. It'd be helpful if I turn my Wi-Fi on. Okay, so it's going to come up KYFPV, so just hit install. And it's going to download really quick. Hit open. So it's going to give you user agreements. Hit start. And then basically we are going to be looking to connect. So let's take the battery. Connect this one one thing that's charging, let's connect the other battery, give that some more juice. And then basically install your battery, you just turn it upside down. And then you'll hear it like click into place. Then this is your power button right here. And then you'll see the green lights start in a blink. Green and blue lights, so you can kind of see that. 
So we are going to go back into Wi-Fi, and we're going to do a search, and it should bring up the drone. So it's going to be KY1080 down here. So checking the quality of your internet. So it's basically just communicating with the drone right now. Make sure everything's working. Connect this time only. All right, so now we're connected so we can go back into that app. Then we click on camera, allow. That's connecting to device. Back to start. Okay, now we're now we're back in. So sometimes you got to bounce in and out. So that gives you an idea. So that is the camera view. Let me try to get the glare off my. So that is the camera view. So that's the back part of my studio, all lights and stuff. So that's the camera. So we'll be mounting this up on this camera mount. And then so now you have you can angle you can angle this however you want. So you can see everything on a drone, hit the power on, and then that's going to blink for a little bit, and then when they turn solid, that means they're going to be connected. Okay, so we got the drone waiting to connect. We're going to turn on the power button, and then you're going to go left and then right, then that's going to connect your drone. See how you got a solid light here, and then the lights on your drone basically letting you know that it's ready to go. And actually, when we turn it upside down, they start blinking. So when it's flat, you can see that they're solid, so it knows it's ready to go. And then if you bring both joysticks down to the bottom corner, and then you lift up like that. So, so to calibrate the compass, you're basically bringing both joysticks down into opposite corners. I'll show you again. And then that's ready to go. And then this will start your rotors. And then you're going to be ready for takeoff. So you, just, so you can just hit like that. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's go outside and we'll we'll get this flying. So stand by. Okay. So we're outside and we have your drone ready. So you are inserting the battery. Kind of give you a better orientation here. Kind of put it there, and then you want to push it in until you hear it snap into place. And then you want to hit the power button on. And then you'll kind of, it's kind of sunny out here, but you'll see the lights blinking on the bottom. So that is looking to connect with your remote. But first thing we are going to do is set up on your phone. Um, we are going to scroll down, and you're going to be looking for your Wi-Fi connection. And then set that into scanning mode. Hopefully you can see that. And you're going to be looking for the KY1080 and then whatever your serial number is. And you're going to connect on that and it's going to be asking you for to connect to your internet. Which it's not going to have because it's connected to a drone. Then you want to go back out and then to the program that we downloaded. So it's going to be the KYFPV. You click on that. And it'll say internet probably not available. So that's okay. We'll click on that app again. So it's going to bring you into this screen, and basically you're just going to hit start. And sometimes, okay, so yeah, so that is running, so you can kind of like see the, the angle going on that. And then we are going to place your cell phone onto the cradle, and it's kind of easier said than done. Let's get it open up in the back there, okay. So that's going to click down on it. Now you have a couple of different features up here. One, you can hit that little button there and that's going to take a picture of the, the drone uh, through the camera. And then to the right of that is going to be your video. So you can take video when you're going through that. And uh, oh, one thing, I'm jumping ahead. So the angle of your camera, it is manually controlled. So you can have that basically pointing straight out so you have uh, basically like a first person point of view coming from there. I usually, for aerial photography, I like to aim it down. 
So it's not quite straight down, but it'll give you kind of like an angle straight out. So that's how that's going to work. And then on your remote, you basically click that power button on, and then that red light's going to start blinking for you. And then it's basically up and down, and that's going to connect you to the drone. And then if you just hit the power up, left joystick up and down, that will turn your propellers on and off. And you do have the um, inflate one button, so it'll take off with the touch of a button. And we'll turn that kind of like into camera frame. So that kind of gives you like your controls and everything else. And like I said, you can keep that pretty steady. I got a slight breeze here today, but give you an idea. So stay tuned, and we'll show you some of the camera views on that. But uh, yeah, up we go. Alright, I'll try that one button landing. And uh, pretty awesome. Precision landing. 